This is the Elex Fix Magnetic Fix Holder Support Frame for PCB repairs. It was sent to me by the Banggood company at no charge so that I could make a review video for them and let you know what I thought. So I wanted to start this off with a comparison of some other PCB holders just to kind of give us an idea of how this will be slightly different than those. So let's check it out. I've got a few different board holders here that I'll use for PCBs when they're under the microscope. This is your standard old school type where you just kind of pull back here and the tension holds the board in place. Then we've got this one that's pretty heavy. This is the Omnivice and this is one you just kind of unscrew this thing and find a good place to clamp this down. The only issue I have is that this is pretty tall so getting under the scope almost requires you to flip it upside down which is a bit awkward. And I've got the same thing going on with this one because you can see it's so high that you end up being very close to or you know very close to your lens or you don't have a lot of room to work at all underneath so I got a new one in today and I have not opened it yet but I'm hoping judging by the pictures that I saw of this that it will kind of give a an alternative solution actually I did cut the tape on this thing already so let me go ahead and open it up here and we've got we'll see how those work here is our actual base for this thing. I think that's all that's in the package. So let's go ahead and get this out. And this is supposed to be adjustable. Okay, so these things, I am seriously for the first time taking them out of the package. See what they do. They look like some kind of steampunk thing that you... Oh, okay, so this is magnetic. Some has got spikes on the end here. Not sure what that's about. Those are magnetic. And the idea, I believe, is that we just kind of adjust these, you know, wherever these little lines here allow it to be. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. So that's supposed to hold everything in place while you're working on the board under your microscope or whatever it is that you happen to be using. And you have four different little adjustable pieces here. I need to figure out why these are so sharp on the top. I'm sure that serves a purpose. I'm going to test this out, uh, doing an actual repair very soon and see how this goes. But uh, so far, it seems like it's pretty sturdy, you know. It's actually holding the board pretty well. Those magnets seem to stay in place for the most part. Of course, you're not supposed to pick up the logic board while it's in this... Uh, little deal here but I was curious to see how well that was going to hold up and you know what's nice is these are actually wide enough to get around and eh, it doesn't quite make it there does it all right so you're still going to have to look for an area and this is one issue that I've always had with these these are very thin here so getting something that fits inside of that little crevice can be challenging so for a PCB, it's not a problem, but when you get to something like this, it's got a shield on it, especially if it had the lower shield also, you'll never be able to get it into these little deals here. And unfortunately, it looks like it doesn't quite make it here, even with one of the shields removed. So you're still going to have to find a place on the board where you've got a narrow or a very thin spot for this gap to fit into. But once you get them positioned, Looks like this will be pretty sturdy for holding things in place. So, you know, put a little bit of downwards pressure on it. It's not popping out or anything. And, of course, as you saw earlier, I don't really need to lift this up. Why aren't you fitting here? Oh, it's already slightly off. That's why. So you can almost just pick up the whole board like this. But uh, don't get too crazy with it. All right, so we'll test that out with an actual repair and see how it goes. What you can do with these magnetic things that I didn't get at first is pretty much set the board on top like this. So take a little pointy end and put it through whatever holes you have and that'll hold the board. It wouldn't be quite as stable of course as putting it inside the magnet. So I suppose that depends on what you're doing. Now they do suggest that you can use this for other projects like woodworking, acrylic, that kind of thing. Uh, that's not something I do but I'm sure that it would be just fine. I actually have been using this for the last couple days and this is the Samsung Galaxy J727 that I was working on and you can see here it's real easy to just kind of set these inside the grooves just like you would a normal board holder 
and that will keep everything nice and stable. Now, of course, from here, if you had to reposition the board, you just want to grab the holder and move it. And depending on what type of area you have to work with, that might be easier for some of you than me. I have a pretty limited workspace. So one thing about it is if you want to move the board while these things are holding it down onto the surface, it takes a bit of effort because as you can imagine, you have to reposition each one of these individually before you slide these, this thing over. But of course, hopefully you're not working in the type of area that I am and you can just move the whole board around here. Now, like a, any other board holder that's available, you do have to be conscious of the components here as you put these little things up against the, the edges. The gap will accommodate PCBs between 0.2 and approximately 1.8 millimeters thick. Of course, if your PCB is any thicker than that, it's not gonna fit in the grooves, but most importantly, we wanna make sure that when we set this inside that we're not putting any pressure up against the nearby components. Now, sometimes you'll find yourself in a situation where it's easy on one direction, but when you go to flip the board over, if you aren't careful, just gravity pulling this down so that it's you know level with the board, if you push it up against there, you could be putting pressure on the inside. So that's not a, a negative in any way because any board holder that you're using, you've gotta be aware of that. But as far as I'm concerned, not having to deal with that little spring-loaded mechanism is kind of a nice thing to not have to worry about. I never really like those type of board holders. Now, if for some reason you don't wanna look at a white outline here on the frame, you can actually flip this thing over. These little legs come off. If you just unscrew the nut that goes right on top there, you can push this threaded piece through and you can remove the footing with it. And then you could basically come in from the other side so that it's reversed and you'll still have your magnetic surface right there. So I'm not sure why you want to do that, but if you did, you certainly have the option. And in fact, if you just wanted the magnetic surface without this elevation, you can separate these two panels and pull that plate out from in between the two surfaces right there. So that's the magnetic piece right there in the center. And uh, I know there's probably a few do-it-yourselfers out there who have other preferences as to how to use this. So, uh, you know, at that point, you could either have this piece to set your magnets on or you can just take these magnets and use them with some other surface that those are going to stick to. If you found the video helpful, like it, share it, check out my channel for more tutorials and product reviews, and most of all, remember to hit the subscribe button. Feel free to leave your feedback in the comments section, and thanks for watching.